Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss about that evaluation of Sibel model for evapotranspiration mapping using Google Earth Engine. So Sibel is very important model to monitoring the evapotranspiration. And evapotranspiration is one of the major parameter in the hydrological cycle. And Sibel mainly is the full form is that surface energy balance algorithm for land. Using the Sibel model, we can easily monitor the evapotranspiration using Landsat or Sentinel imagery. So here you can see I already create some process about that Sibel. We need the evapotranspiration we created finally. Use the latent heat flux or soil heat flux and need uh, radiation, alveda and NDVI. So all of those things how I can create and all of the scrum I will try to explain and further I also show you that how we can really work with Google Earth Engine to mapping evapotranspiration using Sibel model. Sibel it's mainly surface energy balance algorithm for land and it's a image processing model that estimate actual evapotranspiration by solving the term of the surface energy balance derived from the visible near infrared and the thermal infrared band of the electromagnetic spectrum. So here you can see about the figure. So here we can get that you can see basically we can get the input. So this is the R N. R N is indicating about that net radiation. So it's the net radiation and further we can get that three consumer. So one consumer it's called about that Case. here you can see about that so basically it's called about the sensible heat flux to the air and also you can see about the G so basically it's the soil heat flux and also you can see about that ET ET mainly evapotranspiration okay so now from these uh, things we can easily consider about that here you can see mainly RN is that net or total radiation we can get and further we can get the three consumer one is the Ace, another is the ET, another is the G. So from these things we can easily get it, this type of equation here you can see. So total radiation is equal to latent heat flux and then we also get about the Ace, so basically it's the sensible heat flux to the air and G is the soil heat flux. And from this equation we can easily identify about that ET so ET we can get about that you can see just we can get that net radiation subtract with soil heat flux and subtract with sensible heat flux then we can easily get the ET. So basically this is the Sibel or surface energy balance algorithm and there's a lot of use for the agriculture precision or other types of hydrological cycle because evapotranspiration is one of the major parameters in the hydrological cycle. So that's why it's very important to learn. So today's session I will show you that how we can easily work with Google Earth Engine and then apply the Sibel model to mapping the evapotranspiration. So let's go one by one I will explain all of those things. So just let me open and you can get about that uh, reference paper. So here you can see about that this is the reference paper about that evaluation of Sibel model uh, evapotranspiration mapping in Iraq using the remote sensing GIS technique. So you also read this paper then you can get the lot of idea about that Sibel model and how it will be work all of those things you can easily get from here. So basically here I already write the code look like that here you can see. So basically in this time I already added all of uh, layer one by one. So I will show you that one by one so here you can see. So basically first of all I calculate the NDVI for my study area and then further I try to calculate about the albedo. So basically it's also need for that calculation so I also try to calculate about the alveda so I can get this type of things about the alveda and then we try to calculate the red net radiation Rn so it's very important for the Rn which is the net radiation we can get this type of net radiation layer and then we also calculate about the soil heat flux mainly G parameter we can get this type of soil heat flux and we can get that sensible heat flux and then we talk about the latent heat flux we can get uh, this type of result for the latent heat flux as well as finally we are just applying the formula you can see this type of formula which is 
uh, Rn minus G minus C, then we can get that ET, mainly evapotranspiration. And finally, we can get the evapotranspiration and convert into millimeter per day. So here you can see we can get this type of things. So basically, in this time, this type of blue color identify about that high concentration of the evapotranspiration per day. And this type of can identify about that low concentration about that. Okay. So this is our final um, evapotranspiration map for using the seabell. So in this time here, you can see this is the code. I also show you this code. Then you can easily uh, get it. So here you can see about that. So here you can see we can already in this time we are just use that that um, Landsat 8 satellite imagery. So basically Landsat 8 satellite imagery we are just uh, filtering and also applying the pixel we can get about that your reprojected scale value and then we try to get this type of constant value here you can see about that latent heat of uh, vaporization joule per kg and soil heat flux fraction is it's also a constant and further we calculate about the ndvi and also calculate about the alvedo we are just use the equation and try to calculate about the alvedo and further we try to calculate about that you can see the incoming slot radiation okay so all of those things we try to calculate mainly it's the rn it's indicating about that your net radiation or total radiation you try to calculate in here it also need and then we try to calculate about the soil heat flux mainly g factor so after calculating the all of factor, we are just, uh, we also get sensible heat flux. And further, we try to calculate this type of uh, heat flux, sensible heat flux. And then we try to calculate about the latent heat flux. Okay, so this latent heat flux here, you can see what is the formula you just put in here. So latent heat flux equal to, we put here the Rn. Rn mainly, it's our total radiation, subtract with G and subtract with H. So basically, you can see this is the equation about that. So here you can see G subtract with ace so this is the total radiation you can get it and then we can uh, subtract with mainly soil uh, soil heat flux and further we also try to subtract with your another parameter which is indicating about that ace ace is mainly indicating about that your uh, sensible heat flux so here you can see this is the formula about the et uh, equal to and just apply the same formula also in our code here you can see the total or net radiation subtract with your soil heat flux and subtract with sensible heat flux then we can easily put the latent so further this uh, latent heat flux we are just um, make the evapotranspiration from here so we can get this type of map from here and further we are just um, use this map we can easily identify where is the high concentration about the evapotranspiration and so basically there are a lot of uh, method to estimating the evapotranspiration so today's session i will try to explain about the seabell but that if you uh, want to interest to the learn more details about that simply contact in my whatsapp number also contact with my email then you can easily join my online live training program and learn a lot of things about that okay so currently if you are interested to join my live training program you can simply uh, check my website so you can simply go to my website so basically this is my website link and further from this website, you can easily check all of upcoming training program. So basically, our next best training program will be start from that uh, 19 July. So you can simply check about this all of details. So basically, this class will be start from the 19 July. And now this register is the open. Okay, and first 10 people get the 50% discount. So now if you want to join this with 50% discount as soon as possible, complete your registration and book your seat. So this is the total seven days online training program and is the total four hours. Basically, this class will be take from here. You can either check your uh, local time from this uh, link. I already added this video on this website link. I already added in the video description. Simply check it all of details. Also, you can see about that all of course content. So basically, this course content, I mainly focus the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the Google Earth engine or remote sensing or who don't have any knowledge about that coding. So I hope after completing this total seven days online training program, you also get that any kind of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the Google Earth Engine platform. And you also get the some benefit when you join this online training program. You can get the course certificate after submitting all of assignment. Okay, you can get all of assignment. You can get this certificate. You can get all of materials, mainly slide PDF. You can get all of practice code as well as you also get the recorded class. 
So if you miss any live training program, then you can easily cover using that um, recorded class, as well as you also get the lifetime teaching support. So it's very important because as a beginner, so when you want to start the learn with Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problem and that's why you need the continuous support. So for getting this support, you can get the lifetime teaching support after completing the total seven days online training program. So if you want to join this online training program, simply contact in this WhatsApp number or also contact with this email, then further uh, book your seat and join our upcoming online training program. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy, stay safe.